they're looking at the live blue crabs over here. Good morning, guys. I am out and about. I actually picked up my mom with the boys. We're going to have some breakfast. I had <laughs> I had to repark my car because, dang, though, some of these parking spots are so tight. And this car is, like, wider than expected. So I did squeeze into a parking spot and I went in, sat down with the family. And then I told my mom, like, oh, it's such a tight spot. And she's like... Maybe you should repark it because you don't want someone dinging your car. And I was like, that's true. So then I had a, so I got out and I tried to park in this other parking spot and it was still so tight. And I was like, okay, that's not going to work. So then I drove around a little bit and then I found this spot. And it, this spot is, is nice. Like there's plenty of space on that side, plenty of space on this side. I don't know why they drew the lines on like along the perimeter those parking spots are so so tight those are definitely for compact cars they should label it because I wouldn't have known all right let's go back in and then this person was following me in the back and I he was probably thinking what an idiot driver I am I don't know I don't know what to say about that wow the food came out let's get everything situated Oh. Yes, you can have some noodles. Okay, hold on, because our table is very full now. Alright, now that I got everybody situated, now I can start eating. TJ loves the condensed milk with his toast. They have the uh, steak and eggs. This time I asked for over easy, because last time we said sunny side, and it was like way, way, way undercooked. Good job, Uriah. Yeah. I asked, also asked for medium well because last time I felt like it was a little undercooked when we said medium. Is it good, guys? Yeah. We got noodles too. The first coffee with condensed milk. Oh yeah. You gotta get the right color. This looks perfect. Well, we're making a stop after breakfast, after brunch. We're at the Chinese market. I guess I could pick up a few things here. Boys are checking out the live seafood, all the lobster, crab, clams. It's a little chilly in here. They're looking at the live blue crabs over here. Don't touch, don't stick your hand in there. Free samples. Got some noodles. Got mapo tofu. It's hot, huh? Careful. Blow on it. All right, guys. I got a big pot of rice. White rice that just finished cooking. It's cooling down. Got some crab sticks that are that I've defrosted. Some really ripe avocados, but we're gonna just use it anyway. Finished up the avocados. Um, over here, I got my spam slices, seared them a little bit, and added some teriyaki sauce. Can you guys guess what I'm making? I'm making some sushi today. So I had to buy some extra uh, roasted seaweed from the market. And so I'm just going to be wrapping a bunch up and then we're going to head over to Powers family's house and we're going to have dinner over there. I really struggled. I was like, what am I going to bring? Because usually when we eat with Powers family, it's like potluck style. And I'm like, should I buy something? Should I make something? What's everybody else going to bring? Like, I don't know, but I'm just trying to like, Powers like, just go with whatever's easiest for you. I'm like, mm, okay. Rolling sushi is not difficult for me. It's pretty easy. I can go pretty quick, but it's like all the preparation and, and all that, right? Like that can kind of take a while. All right, I'm pretty much done. So let me set up my station and get rolling.
Right, I got my party tray here. Left, no, right side is spam. Left side is the California roll. Um, I'm also gonna cut up. I made two keto ones for power, one of each. But I'm waiting for the seaweed to get a little bit softer, so it's easier to cut. These are the end pieces, so I'm just gonna let the kids eat that before we go. We're back home. Kids are asleep. Power's helping. Oh, don't please don't stack it there. Yes, yes, be smarter. Par is helping me empty the dishwasher. Oh, but it's <laughs> leaning. <laughs> it's the end of the night cleanup kitchen time. I also have to salt the chicken that I bought earlier. I do plan on making some curry, um, I guess tomorrow. But we have, we have so many leftovers. I don't know how much my mom thinks we can eat, but she's always like giving us food or like buying extra food or giving us leftovers. And I'm just like, we cannot finish that much. And then me, you know, I always try to like finish the leftovers because I don't like to waste food. But anyways. I do plan on making curry tomorrow night. We brought back some of the sushi. We didn't finish it. Um, actually, Grandpa and Jocelyn weren't even there, but that's okay. So I think the kids are gonna take it for lunch to, to school tomorrow. All right, so I'm gonna salt the chicken, wash the dishes, and then we're just gonna call it a night. Good night. Bye.